Disney's five-minute short frozen stories presents the Midsummer Parade. It was a beautiful summer day. The breeze was soft, the sun was warm, and the birds were singing happily. Elsa and Anna were picking wildflowers in a field not too far from town. I can't believe it'll be midsummer soon, Anna said, looking around the lush green meadow. Elsa grinned. I love midsummer, she said. Remember when we were kids and I used to lead the midsummer parade, Anna interrupted, finishing her sister's sentence. The midsummer parade was one of her happiest childhood memories. I love that parade, Anna told her sister. You always look so fancy, riding at the head of it. On that little fat pony, Elsa said with a chuckle. Mr. Waffles. We, we haven't had a midsummer parade since we were little kids, Anna said sadly. Elsa nodded. Now that the gates are open, we should have it again, starting this year. Anna clapped her hands. You look so great at the head of the parade, she told her sister. Elsa grinned slyly. Not me, you. I hereby declare you Midsummer Princess. Anna, Elsa, and their friends started planning the parade the very next day. Marching band, Elsa said. Already rehearsing, Kristoff said. Flowers, Anna asked. I've been collecting them. All week, achoo, Olaf said, sniffling. Anna consulted the parade planning checklist. Next up, clothing. Anna and Elsa went to search the royal wardrobe. How about this? Anna asked, putting a silly hat on Elsa. Elsa giggled and held up some boots. These are definitely you, she said to Anna. The sisters picked wilder and wilder outfits for each other. Soon, they were laughing so hard they could hardly stand. Okay, it's time to get serious, Elsa said. You need something special to wear in the parade. With a little help from Anna's friends, the parade was shaping up beautifully. It was going to be exactly like when Anna and Elsa were kids. Well, almost exactly. I don't think you can ride Mr. Waffles in the parade, Elsa told Anna. You're bigger than he is now. Besides, I'm pretty sure he's retired. Then I'll have to find a new horse, Anna said. The best horse in all of Arendelle. Anna and Olaf headed to the stable to find the right horse. What about that one? Anna asked the head groom, pointing to an elegant mare. She's so pretty, Olaf sighed admiringly. This is Lady Crystalbrook Shiny Toes the Fourth, the head groom said. Lady Crystalbrook Shiny Toes the Fourth, said Anna. The horse stepped forward and tripped over her own feet. She fell right into the pond. Oh dear, said Anna. How about him? Olaf asked, pointing at a big strong horse. What's his name? The groom cleared his voice. <clears throat> Dauntless. Hello, Dauntless, Anna said sweetly. As she stepped forward to pet the horse, a leaf fluttered by in the wind. When Dauntless saw the leaf, his eyes widened. With a loud, frightened whinny, he turned and ran away as fast as he could. I do not think we should ride him, Olaf said. Anna thought the third horse looked very promising, until he tried to eat Olaf's nose. Hey, Olaf giggled, that tickles. Hours later, Anna was at her wit's end. They had met every horse but they hadn't found the right one. I just don't know what to do, she said miserably. Maybe we should just cancel the parade. Cancel the parade? Anna and Olaf looked up to find Kristoff entering the stable. Why would you do that? He asked. I can't find the right horse to lead the parade, Anna said. Hmm, Kristoff said. I think I know just the fellow for the job. You do? Olaf said, who's the horse? Well, Kristoff said, he isn't exactly a horse. Sven, Kristoff said, slinging his arm around the reindeer's shoulder. How would you like to lead the parade? Gee whiz, Kristoff said in Sven's voice, speaking for his friend. I'd be delighted. 
and Sven did look delighted. Oh, said Anna, clapping her hands. Sven is perfect. He's loyal and brave and smart. And handsome, Kristoff said in Sven's voice. And handsome, Anna agreed. She kissed Sven's nose. Anna introduced Sven to the royal stable's grooms. He's going to lead the parade with me, she explained. So he needs to look extra fancy. It'll be an honor, the head groom said, bowing low. Please come with us, sir. The groom set to work on Sven. They oiled his hooves, they polished his antlers, and they brushed and brushed and brushed his fur. When the royal grooms were done with Sven, he positively shone. Sven, Anna said. You look Svended, she elbowed Elsa. Get it? Svended? I get it, Elsa said with a smile. You really do look magnificent, Sven. Then she frowned. But I think there's something missing. Elsa hung a huge wreath of flowers around Sven's neck. There, she said. Now you're perfect. Anna looked at the checklist. Band, flowers, Sven. I think everything's ready, she said. Olaf jumped up and down with excitement. It's parade time, he cried. The birds sang, the band played, and the people of Arendelle cheered as the parade wound through its town. Anna was so happy, she couldn't stop smiling. The midsummer parade was perfect. Later, Anna and Elsa celebrated the successful parade. We did it, Anna, Elsa said. The parade was just like when we were kids. No. Anna said, grinning at her sister. It was even better. You've been listening to Frozen 5-Minute Stories. <laughs>